Good morning, everyone. It's July 26th, 2024. Uh, as you can see by the title today, I in, want to talk more about the cameras and uh, the way that they can help protect us as well. Uh, I want to start off with a, an incident that happened to me uh, just uh, in the last couple of weeks that I was down in the laundry room doing my laundry and I was just pulling the stuff out of the dryer and getting ready to go back upstairs with my laundry when um, another tenant apparently came in, he used his key, brought in what I believe was possibly a homeless woman uh, into the laundry room and I suddenly realized, well, she was looking for a place to go to the bathroom and she was ready to go right on the laundry room floor and I said, excuse me, um, what do you think you're doing? And um, she said, well, I gotta go. I can't hold this any longer. And I said, well, you cannot go here. This is not the proper place to go. So I looked at the other person that had let her in the laundry room and I said, well, do you live here? And he said, yes, I do. And I was trying to explain to him, well, why don't you let uh, her go up in your apartment to the bathroom? And he just started mumbling some things. And then she said, well, I have to go, I have to go. And I said, well, uh, that's fine. If you have to go, you have to go. But there's no bathroom down here. And if you do it on the floor, like you look like you're planning to, there's cameras here that are looking directly at you. And, uh, you know, this is something that most people like to do their, do their business in private. Uh, I guess you want um, everybody to get a good shot of uh, you doing your business. Um, so she kind of thought about it and then she no I, I i don't think i want to go here and then um he took her out of the laundry room and then i went ahead of them and i had started up the stairwell uh to go to my apartment and um i looked around and then she's going to go right in the hallway where a lot of them have gone and you've seen pictures of um uh previous pictures of me that i put up on videos of of uh, defecating and urinating in the in the hallways so she started to go into one area which was a favorite place which just stinks and it still does they're still trying to clean the smell out from this where they've been going and I said well I guess you really want to get yourself on camera because there's a camera looking directly at you right now still she's looking around and she's feeling very uncomfortable at this point so the two of them fortunately headed outside the building I'm sure she probably went outside somewhere but this was um, what I'm talking about, having cameras available as a deterrent. Now, as I've said in a previous video as well, um, because I am in social housing, we're looking at this whole situation with the homeless differently now. And uh, we are getting more cameras in our buildings, which is very good, because in this case, it did act as a deterrent. I was able to say, well, do you want everybody to see what you're doing? And uh, I don't think so. So she had enough sense. Uh, she still, she wasn't high or anything. Or if she'd been high, she wouldn't have cared two hoots about what she was doing. But again, uh, as I've told you in a previous video, that we're looking at ways of securing our, uh, our social housing buildings down here. And one of them is cameras. And it's going to be, this is being done over the summer. And probably won't be finished towards, till towards the end of September with all the security measures that they're slowly putting in our building because I've seen now their cameras are going up on the outside of our building as well as many more cameras going on the inside of our building as well to try and protect us. And of course this to me is good news because uh, before when you had dealers in and that, you could always tell, well, especially in the winter time, when they all do want to come in is um, uh, they all, uh, they have an apartment and uh, it's, you see the mud track literally up the stairwell right to that apartment and it's constant and it's um, quite a trail right up to that one apartment so with more cameras we had a, just a few scatter cameras originally to try and catch the action now we're getting more and more cameras and uh, it's going to be very interesting they're they're putting the structure in place and um, fortunately that was one of the cameras that's a new camera that they had put in and even with the few old cameras that they had, they've um, got better cameras, more updated cameras that are clearer pictures and that coming out. So that was um, a good thing. And then I was talking to a friend of mine in the last couple of weeks too. She's in another social housing building, but not um, 
with our particular social housing. And um, if you, everyone remembers, um, during the pandemic, uh, everyone had to wear those dreaded masks across their face to try and keep from getting the COVID-19 virus. And um, there's still people who are leery. There's some people who definitely have germophobia. But there are a few people, and I've seen them on the bus, and that still prefer to wear the masks. And my friend was telling me she was in her building, and she got accosted by uh, a neighbor's uh, child, well, grown-up child, let's put it that way, about wearing a mask. And she got um, assaulted and terrified, and uh, even though they tried to pull uh, the person off of, the, off of her, uh, she was so scared she had to run and hide in the laundry room where she locked herself in. And so she's terrified. And then um, I've heard of another person, like, being attacked over wearing a mask. I mean, my goodness, what in the world is happening with our, with our whole civilization right now? I mean, uh, people are um, being attacked for hijabs. People are being attacked for just even no reason at all, and I don't see what's wrong with the mask. That's part of being in a democratic society. You're able to wear, whether it's a religious item, whether it's definitely a mask, um, because you're afraid of germs, well, that's fine. That's your, your, your choice. You know, it's not for me to make the choice. It's not for anyone else to make the choice. It's, that's, that's their choice. And this is what part of uh, freedom should be. You know, like I said, you don't see the person uh, as well in the mask, but I'm still seeing people, and I understand. They're still concerned. And, of course, with all the superbugs that they've been talking about for years around and after having the COVID-19, I can understand that people are still leery about going in public. So I just wanted to bring that up to a little bit up to speed today on what is basically happening down here and understanding that this is why the cameras are becoming more and more prevalent because certainly with the cameras we're going to find out who's causing the trouble in the apartment buildings for sure uh, having uh, cameras on the outside of our buildings because we have had drive-by shootings and stuff um, in the neighborhood through our um, social housing as well that we'll be able to get this on film as well it should have also be helpful to the police uh, to try and catch these people who are disrupting our, our peace and quiet and we should ha be allowed to have our peace and quiet too so that's where I'm going to leave it today and I just wanted to give a brief update and everyone take care be safe and we shall talk again soon and bye bye